Everybody will be dancing and be doing it right. Everybody will be dancing and be feeling your right. Everybody will be dancing tonight. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome. So today we're going to work on something to really get your hips. If you have tightness in the hips from running or from just sitting a lot, you want to get some stretching out of your hips. You're feeling a lot of tension there. This is a quick super sequence to help you really open that up. So let's start just standing here. Feel your foundation, feel your long, tall body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend and soft and melt your body down to the floor. Let your hips and body sway a little side to side. Begin to loosen it up. Keep those knees bending so you can really open your hips and start to feel into it. Ground your feet, bend those knees again. Take a deep breath. Exhale, begin to roll up, but keep sitting into this one. So rolling into a chair. And slowly roll yourself up into the chair. Unfill your arms up, take a deep breath, stretch. Sit deeper. Exhale, bring palms to chest and twist to the right side. Flip to the right side, elbow outside your thigh. Roll yourself back up, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left side. Touch your elbow outside your thigh. Roll it back up, inhale. Exhale, roll all the way down. Softly again, release it out. Step your feet back into down dog. Set your hands down mindfully. Keep swaying your hips a little side to side. Wag your tail. Good, take your right leg up, inhale, switch it up. Exhale, bend it all. Scoop knee to nose, push the floor away. Lift your hips, step that foot through to thumb. Wave your spine long, bring your left knee down. Sit your hips into the earth for a moment, point your toes. If you need support for that knee, you can fold your mat or use a blanket. Roll yourself up. Keep anchoring straight down. Feel your hips softly melting into the earth, but keep the front pelvis lifting up and long. Take a deep breath. Stretch it up. Exhale, bring your hands back to the earth. Hips shift back, straighten that right leg out. If you want to, grab your right ankle, move it forward a little bit so that your left hip Stays over your left knee. Take a deep breath in, grow long. Exhale, begin to fold here. Just a little bit, it's fine, but try to keep your spine really long and deep breaths all the way into your pelvis. Wave yourself out, exhale, soften. Use the inhale to create space. Exhale, go a little deeper. Release your neck and spine, then hang loose. Great job, guys. Shift forward, bend knee over ankle. Set your hands, tuck your toes. Swing your right leg back to the sky. Bend your both knees, left knee particularly, stack your hips, and then grow leg longer up towards it. So left leg straightening so you get that nice hip opener. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend in knee to nose. Just come over your wrists. Inhale, swing it back up. Exhale, bend in, touch your knee to your left elbow. Good, inhale back up. Exhale, bend it in, touch your elbow again. Shoot your leg out to the side now straight out perpendicular to your spine. Roll your left hip in. So you start really getting IT band stretch there. Stretch that IT band. Good, now here's the fun part, ready? Keep right hip actively pulling back and up. Drag your right foot in. Oh my God, get deep into that IT band. Stretch your hips back. So you go back to down dog with your right leg out to the side. Push your heart back, let your left heel sink. Can you feel that nice deep stretch there? Take a deep breath. Exhale, begin to bend. Take your right knee down to the floor. Walk your left foot back a little bit. Good. From there, we're gonna walk, point our toes, walk our hands back, lift your heart up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, softly begin to melt into your pigeon. Take your elbows down to the floor, stay there if you want. You could also bring your forehead and chest and chin or forehead towards the floor. Relax there for a few deep breaths. Really immerse yourself in your breathing for a moment. Good. Now, let's walk our hands back in, relift your heart. From here, we're gonna bend up our back knee. You could now, if you like, reach your left hand back, grab the inside of your foot, and begin to persuade it in. Oh yeah, we're getting in there, breathe into it. You could also challenge, take your right forearm down to the ground. Either way, keep pulling this left heel in towards your left glute. Open your heart, breathe deep. Come a little closer. Yes, take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's release softly, leg back, hips to the right, swing your left foot forward, and take your right hip inside of your right hip and thigh. Turn on that leg, bend your left knee a little bit, take a deep breath, fill up, maybe stretch your arms up. Exhale, tilt and extend out over your leg. Keep breathing your body long. Exhale, softly fold. Inhale, space, exhale, release. Feel that nice deep stretch here. Good, next exhale, we're gonna slowly roll it back in and up. Plant your left hand fingers behind you. Let's, oh, sorry, take your right hand back behind you, right hand. 
Swing your hips up, arm over your head, stargazer, take a deep breath. Exhale, bring your legs, soften down. Hips down, cross your ankles in together. Hands come out in front of you, lift your hips over the ankles, step jump or float back into a down dog. If you want to go through a vinyasa here, that's an option. Meet us all in down dog from there. Spread your fingers wide, roll your shoulders down. Good, now we're going to bend a little bit, swing your left leg up, inhale. Exhale, bend and scoop in your nose, lift your hips, lift your shoulders. Inhale, swing it up. Exhale, bend deep, take right, left knee to right elbow, touch it. Inhale, swing it up. One more time, exhale, bend everything in, touch your elbow, and kick your leg out perpendicular to the right side under your body. Now, re-straighten your spine from hips through heel through top of your head. Feel that left hip actively pull back to the outer left side. And stay here a moment, or when you're ready, can you keep the left hip actively dragging the left leg back and up to really get deep into the IT band, outer edge of your hips here. Super good for runners with tight hips, tight IT bands. Keep pressing your hips back and up. Press your heart back towards your left shin. Relax your neck and spine. Deepen your breath. Breathe into that stretch for a few moments. Really get it nice and deep there. When you feel ready, then we'll slowly bend forward so left knee comes towards your left wrist. Walk your right foot back a little further until your hips feel already opening down towards the earth. Now, hands walk around that front leg. Lift your heart, take a deep breath in. Exhale, come forward slowly to your elbows. Hang out there if you want. Or you can walk out to bring chest and forehead down. Just immerse again, completely bathe in your deepest breath for a few moments. Nothing but breathing, let everything else go. Good, now slowly rolling in. Let's walk your hands in, lift your head and chest back up. From there, you could bend up your right knee if you like. Swing your right arm back, grab the inside of your right foot. And just stay there or continue to bend your right elbow, pulling your right heel closer in towards your glutes. Slow deep breaths. You can go deeper if you do it on the other side. Remember, we want to find balance. But keep your heart lifted. Come a little closer. Deepen that breath. And gently release your foot back. Hips swing, sit out to the left. Swing your right foot forward. Again, leg out in front of you. First, get that left heel closer into your inner left hip and thigh. Bend up your right knee. Turn over the leg. Take a deep breath. Lift your heart. Maybe arms unfurl. Fill up. Stretch. Tilt from the pelvis as you exhale. Fold over your leg. Good. Keep breathing your spine long. Say hello to the train. Hi, train. Beautiful day in Austin. Keep waving it out. Eventually, you find a place of stillness in all the chaos. So breathe into it. Try to relax wherever you can. Your neck, your shoulders, your back. Breathe into it. Nice. Right, so next exhale, rolling yourself in slowly, mindfully. Restack your spine. Left hand now sets back behind you. Point your right toes and swing hips. Heart open up over that left knee. Stargazer, stretch it out. Inhale. Exhale, let's mindfully, softly bring it back to the floor. Beautiful job, guys. Hug now the both knees. We're going to bring both of our feet together. Pull your feet in as close as you can to your body. Okay, take a deep breath. Lift your heart. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, let's wave out over our leg. Maybe side to side. Here. Use a couple breaths. Create some space. Exhale, go deeper. The elbows pressing softly inside your calves and thighs. If that works, drop your shoulders. You may even bring your elbows in front of your shins if that's good for you. Keep your neck and spine relaxed and see if you can deepen your breath. That's the secret. So breath is going to allow you to breathe and naturally stretch more fully as you begin to experience the energetic release. Keep in mind that our hips is one, are one of the main storage points for energy in our body. So you can let that go with each exhale. Good. Next exhale, start to roll it up. Let's take our left leg out. We're going to do one more here. Right uh, foot comes into the cusp cus or the antecubits, as it's called, of your left arm. Take your right arm around the around your right knee, so you're like hugging a baby here. 
Cross your hands or interlace fingers, but start to lift your spine, so as wave, lumbar wave, grow long. Lift your heart and bring your shin in as close as you can to your sternum, middle of your chest. Sit tall, take a deep breath. Good, now rock your hip baby, a little side to side. Mine's not very pretty, it's an ugly baby. It's okay, I love him anyway. So side to side, opening that hip a little bit. When you're ready, we take our right arm underneath your right calf. Start to work your whole right leg now, up your right arm, up your right shoulder. Try to get the knee as high as it will go over your right shoulder. Really hike it up there as high as you can. Then take your right arm out to the right. Right arm goes out, I'll show you this angle. So right arm is out so that I'm now using my arm like a, um, a lever, right? So it's using against it. I release my left hand around to grab the upper out edge over the top outer edge of my right foot. Then begin to slowly kick my legs straighter. Breathe and lift your heart. At some point you may bring it straighter, straighter till you find that edge. Lift your heart, maybe bring your head under your arm even if that happens. Keep going to your deepest point in this compass pose for a few breaths. Lift your heart up, go a little straighter, breathe. Beautiful guys, slowly then release. Oh yeah, slide your foot back out. Shake your legs a little bit. Try the other side. Cool, so same thing, we're gonna bend up here. Take your left shoulder under your left knee. Keep working the knee up as high as it'll go. It doesn't matter how high, remember, it just goes to as high as it can for you today. Then take your left arm, slide it out to the side straight. Ground your left hand flat. So your leg is now wrapped around your upper arm. Right arm comes over the top, grabs the outside of your foot, and begin to press your leg against the arm straighter. Breathe into that. Find your edge intelligently and lift your heart. Maybe go a little higher. Good. You see I slid my hand back a little bit there so I can bring my heart up higher. Maybe your head comes under your arm. Doesn't matter how far you get today. Just find your edge and breathe there. Deep breaths. Mm, that's so good. A little straighter, a little higher. Lift your heart. Take one more deep breath. Lift. Beautiful, slowly, let's release, slide the leg back down. Shake your legs up and down a little bit. From there, great work. Let's take arms out and cave your body in. Begin to roll back mindfully, bit by bit, all the way down to the floor. So good. So bend your knees, feet walk in. Take your hands now, close into your hips on your thighs, and softly press your thighs away from your chest, decompressing your low back. Breathe into that soft decompression. And if there's anything else you want, if you want to bring your feet together, goddess pose, knees apart, one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart, that's great. You could finish your final relaxation there, or legs apart, arms apart, shavasana, classic relaxation. Stay there as long as you like. Relaxing there, stay there. Enjoy that for at least a minute or two, and then go on about your day or continue your practice. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a beautiful day. In the name of the high school. Namaste. Everybody will be dancing and be feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be feeling it right. Everybody will be dancing and be feeling it right.